Hi, I think I'm live. Uh, it's Sunday, 4 o'clock, and this is the day I do my What Sold the past week video. Uh, I sold mostly on eBay, but I did have two uh, good sales on Poshmark. So I did share my closet a few times this past week. I don't know if that's why I had the sale or not, but um, who knows? Could be. Uh, I sold 17 items on eBay and two on Poshmark. So as soon as uh, some people come in, I will start to share my screen and show you what I sold. I have been uh, listing... Eight to ten things a day. Well, there was one day I only listed four or five. But I try, I'm try. i trying to list. And now, because I'm listing more, of course, now I'm out of things again. I have done all the things that Judy gave me. I've done all the things that bump came in Bumblebee's box. I've listed all the things that I got on my trip to Goodwill. So I guess I'll have to go shopping again. Uh, also, my daughter told me uh, yesterday that she got at least one of the bags of clothes from her neighbor. Uh, and her neighbor is still going through things and there will be more, more items. So she has a big bag of things for me uh, when she comes out. Uh, so there's things in the works, and my daughter knows some, also knows some people that she thinks will help out uh, giving some uh, inventory. So she sees a lot more people than I do. Uh, I was hoping that Bumblebee would get here because I think several of the things that I sold this past week were in her boxes that she sent me. Uh, I will be getting another box from her. I don't know if this is an off week or this coming up is an on. I think this is this next week I will get another box from Bumblebee, I believe. If she's doing them every other week. There is Dexter. <clears throat> Dexter pretty much just lays around like this. Hi, Bumblebee. It's okay. Uh, yeah, my daughter got one of the bags of clothing from her neighbor, and her neighbor's putting together more bags. So she has at least one of the big bags of clothing. That's the um, clothing from Catherine's. Uh, this lady used to work there. So uh, hopefully my daughter's coming out this next week. Uh, however, on Tuesday, my son, I don't know if I told you this or not, my son is coming out and uh, we're going to Target and picking me out a new smart TV. My TV is pretty much gone. I can hardly watch it. It has squiggly lines in the whole screen. Uh, so it's painful to watch. <laughs> it's pretty old. Uh, it was one of the first flat screen, you know, TVs. It was a good one, Sony, because at the time my son bought it. I bought it off of him, but he bought it. It was like $3,000, this TV, but it was a long time ago. Of course, they've all come down way down in price now. But <clears throat> so he's going to uh, help me pick out a new TV because I have seen uh, some of the ones that I think are good, but I didn't. I didn't know whether I should get them or not. So I'm going to have him go with me, and he'll come back and set. Uh, he'll set. Um, the TV up for me and everything. 
and then the little Chromecast thing, I will move to the upstairs television. So I'll have that up there. You got my check, good. And you mailed my box, good. So I will for sure get it by Wednesday, I would hope. So Wednesday, uh, this next week, Wednesday, I'll have a box opening from Bumblebee. Yeah. So, uh, yes, I sold, I said, 17 things from eBay and two things from Poshmark. So let me, uh, I should have uh, sent an email to my sister that I was going to be on the reminder. But <clears throat> anyway, let me share the screen and show you what I sold because I sold a big variety of things this week. All different things. But there's a lot of your things in there, Bumblebee. That's why I was hoping that you'd be on here. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, the first thing I have, I sold on the 13th, which was last Sunday. We'll start with that. During this week, I had two almost $150 days, two of them. So that was good. However, today I haven't sold anything. <laughs> it's so strange how this works. So this uh, little dress is by Juicy Couture. It's a be like a beach dress. You'd like a, maybe a cover up, it's strapless or a sundress. Uh, the hem was sort of like. Uh, sort of a balloon that went under. Uh, as the top was a stretch, stretch on top. And that sold for $14. It was a best offer. <coughs> uh, I took $14 for it, and they paid $6 in shipping, and I paid $5.42, so I little, made another 50 cents there. Uh, on that dress. It seems like I've had that a long time, but I don't know. Okay. Here's that little newsboy cap. I think I bought this at one of my shopping trips. <clears throat> I found this little newsboy cap, and I picked it up because it was by Bri Brixton, which is sort of an English brand. <clears throat> See, looks English, doesn't it? was a medium, a seven and a quarter size, and it sold for the asking price of $14.95, or that was a sale price. And that went to Los Angeles, California. That little uh, Juicy Couture dress went to Santa Rosa Beach, Cal uh, Florida. And this went to California. Uh, the next thing is... Uh, a little pair of booty shorts by Hudson. I think, pretty sure I found these. Not real sure, but I think so. Anyway, I took a best, I sent out an offer to watchers for $26.77. <clears throat> they went to Redwood City, California. They paid shipping, of course. So I always seem to sell in the summer the booty shorts. Then I sold a tie. This is, uh, this, what brand was this? Set, Sette or Set and Bello. It was made, they were, it was made in Italy, this tie. So uh, it was silk. And that sold for $13.79, which was the regular price for that. Uh -oh. And it went to Washington, D.C. Hmm. Okay, Bumblebee. This is a dress uh, barn, art to wear, watercolor floral top. And you, this was in your box. 
It was a really pretty top. It was in your plus size box. This was a plus size 2X. And this sold for the uh, sale price of $25.51. And it went to Fort Knox, Texas. So there's my Texas. And before was my California. So we have those. Here's the Lucky Brand sleeveless top. This was a border print. Now, I know you sent me one, and I got one, so I don't know which one this is. <laughs> uh, this little border top. This was real pretty. Uh, sleeveless, and um, this, uh, I took a best offer of $14 on this. It went to Aptos, California. <clears throat> Next thing I've had for a long time, you can tell by the background there, this is a Nike dry fit white short sleeve polo shirt. Nothing fancy, just a white uh, shirt. This went for uh, the regular price of $15. And this went to Ankeny, Iowa. An Ankeny. <laughs> Okay, I believe this is from Bumblebee, uh, Ruby Road Linen. This has had a tie front, and also the front had uh, crocheting down the front. This is a really pretty little shirt. <coughs> this was a large and royal blue. This might have been in the red, white, and blue box. I'm not sure. Uh, but this went for $24.99, a regular price. This must have sold on a Monday because sometimes Monday I leave without any sales on just to see. And sometimes I'll sell two or three things at the regular price. Now, thank you, Bumblebee. Here's another one you sent me. This Denim and Supply Ralph Lauren shabby uh, cottage core at a stretchy neck and had uh, bell, little bell sleeves. This is sort of like a crepey type fabric. This was really pretty, this little blouse. And uh, sold for $24.99, another one that went at the regular price. I'm just so happy when that happens. Uh, let me see that. Ruby Road, did I say where that went? Went to Arbuckle, California, that blue one. And this one went to Hudson, Wisconsin. This little shirt. Okay, this one came in Judy, one of Judy's bags. Uh, I put a really low price on this because it had some uh, dirty marks and things that I could not get out. I did wash this and try to put a spot cleaner on it, but it just wouldn't go off. This was a work shirt, I'm sure. Uh, and that's what I listed it as, like a work shirt, barn shirt. It was a heavy flannel in this sort of an ivory color. And it sold pretty quickly uh, for $10.55. Uh, that was a sale price. I'm not sure if I had a best offer on that or not. I think I just put it on for a low price. Somebody bought it. Okay, these little vintage rhinestone earrings were mine, and uh, they did have posts. They weren't clip-on, but they were old, and they were out of uh, an old jewelry box I had. So those sold, and they went to Tracy, California. I don't know. That's where I'm sure. Tracy, California is where that flannel shirt went to. These rhinestone earrings went to Red Bank, New Jersey. And they sold for uh, $13.79. No sale on those. Uh, they went free shipping, though, and I had to pay $3.06 out of that. <clears throat> but they didn't cost me anything because I've had them for years and years. Uh, this is a Lane Bryant sheer top, women's plus size, uh, size 22 by 24. Now, because of the background, I don't think that I got this from Bumblebee, but who knows? It could have been an older one I got from her. But it went to from 
it went to Fayetteville, Georgia. Uh, and it went an offer to watchers I sent out for 1877. And that's what it sold for. Here's a Ralph Lauren sport button up shirt. And this was a women's shirt. So this answers the question of, uh, but this button's like a men's shirt. But the other one that I wondered about was also buttoned like this. And it was also a Ralph Lauren shirt. So I believe that when they put out women's shirts, and this is a women's because it's a size eight. <laughs> um, so I think they just, you know, their women's shirts button the same as men's shirts. And this went to St. Anthony, North Dakota, and it went for $23.75. That was the sale price. Sort of a purple and white striped uh, shirt. Now here's a pair of XXX Rude Distress Cutoff Denim Bermuda Shorts. I'm not sure where I got these. These could be from Bumblebee, but I'm just not sure. But I put them on as, and I use the words grunge and funko, which aren't words that I normally use. So I don't know where, I'm not sure where I got these, but they sold and they sold as a best offer of $18 and they went to Swansea, Illinois. Here's my good big sale of the week, a Marc Jacobs 100% cashmere cardigan. This had uh, crystal buttons. This was a beautiful little sweater. It was a medium, and these little buttons, the photographs never show the sparkle. These really sparkled because they were like... Uh, uh, Swarovski, Swarovski, Swarovski crystals uh, were the buttons, heart shaped. Now, I did take a best offer of $80, but I still think that's really good <laughs> uh, for a cashmere sweater. And that went to Erling. Oh, this, this is the one that went out of the country. So we don't know where this went yet. It went to, I shipped it down to Erlingdon, Erlinger. Kentucky, and from there they ship it to wherever it's going. But somebody bought it for $80, and they're going to pay a lot more shipping than just for $85. So I have no idea yet where that's going to. Okay, here's a Poshmark sale. I had two in a row. This was a, uh, a Spring Bunny ceramic bowl. Now, I used to use this for a candle, but you could use it for other things, too. But I sold it for $10. This was mine. I've had it a long time. I would put it out at Easter time. Didn't have any marks or anything on it as far as to identify it. <clears throat> so uh, it wasn't anything wonderful. But it sold, and it sold on my sister's birthday. And uh, it sold for 10 and out of that, I made $7.05, a big whopping $7. Now, this next thing is a Polo Ralph Lauren Performance uh, Large Gray Men's Sweatshirt. It's, uh, it looks sort of like a fleece, but it was more of a sweatshirt material. And this sold for $42, the asking price, which was really nice. And this went to Santa Barbara, California. And out of the $42, I made $33.60. Okay, my last couple sales. This was also out of Judy's bag. I almost just donated this to... Uh, Goodwill. This is, 
I spelled it wrong here. This is Adam's row. It's not a good shirt at all. Uh, short sleeve, but it was in good condition. Uh, it was a six and a sixteen and a half neck short sleeve beige, and uh, I did put it on at a low price uh, for ten fifty five. Somebody offered, or I even sent out an offer of eight seventy seven, and somebody bought it. So that's fine. It's better than donating it, I guess. I made probably a couple bucks off of that because they did pay shipping on that. And the last thing is something I found. And this I just put on and it sold within 24 hours. This is that little Lily Pulitzer poolside fedora raffia straw hat. And I got those words from another listing that was just like it. And uh, it sold for $31.50. Uh, that was the best offer that I accepted. I think I had it on for $35 or $36. But I accepted $31.50. And it will be going out tomorrow. <clears throat> So that is what I sold, a little bit of everything. That's going to Montvale, New Jersey, by the way, this little hat. It was really cute. <laughs> I almost thought about keeping it, but I knew I wouldn't wear it. So, yeah, okay, let me try to get back here. So that's what I sold, a little bit of everything, a little bit of jewelry, a little bit of homeware both men's and women's things. Uh, so, and I, and a couple hats. <laughs> Hi, Sue. Yes, it was my sister's birthday on the 18th. Oh, the animal print was mine. Yeah, I thought maybe because it was an older listing. My store is on fire. Well, I wouldn't exactly say it's on fire, but it was, yeah, I had, from that recent box, I had lots of things. I feel like I should go through my store and throw out everything, every old thing I had, and just go with your, with your boxes, Bumblebee. Uh, I am going shopping again. Oh, maybe thread up on the rude shorts, maybe. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure where I got those keywords. It must have been from another listing that I saw. <laughs> uh, yes. The, yeah, I was real pleased about the Lily Pulitzer hat. <laughs> Hi, Sue. And the plus sizes are good always. Yeah, so I will be getting a bag from my daughter from her neighbor, and those will be all plus sizes. Uh, two days over 150 is, uh, is fire. Yeah, for me, it is. Right. <clears throat> okay, now, last night, after I probably had watched. Uh, Chris on daily re, uh, daily refinement and their their you know their uh, Patreon thing that they do with the Zoom. Do you watch that? Yeah. Uh, I decided I would join that for a while and just see if it would make any difference. Uh, they help you out a lot, and it's it's daily refinement and tech and sports. And they run this Patreon group. And you can ask for all kinds of help. And they keep you sort of motivated. And they keep you... Uh, uh, they make sure that you're doing what you want to do to keep to uh, improve your listings. And improve your uh, the amount of listings that you're doing. <clears throat> so I'm going to try it for a while. And see, you also get to join their secret, well, it's not secret, their private face group, 
uh, group so that you can ask all kinds of questions to a lot of people. And then there's, you know, special, special things that uh, you get to watch when you're in the group. So I don't know. I'm, I'm going to try it for a few months and see. Hopefully it's going to make a difference. Uh, you think my, oh, it went away here. I think your pictures, keywords, and consistent listing is it beginning to build up speed. I hope so. Build up steam. <clears throat> yes. I think the consistent listing is, even though every once in a while you have a zero day, which I don't quite understand that, but I've got to list today, yeah. And the only thing I have to list are the plush animals. That's the only thing I've left to list. But I'm not sure if it matters what you list as long as you're listing as far as eBay goes, you know. So, yeah, all the pictures are taken. I just have to list them. So after that, I will have to, I think I will have to go shopping tomorrow. <laughs> uh Tuesday, I'll be busy picking out a TV, and my son will be here. So it'll be hard getting in things. Seems like, I don't know, my father-in-law said this one time, he can only do one thing a day. And I'm sort of, that's sort of like I feel once sometimes. I can only, like, do one thing a day. If I have two or three things, two or three things I want to get done, they never seem to get done. So if I want to list ten things, it seems like that's the only thing I can do besides my normal stuff that I do every day. But anything different, like if I go shopping, if I would go out to Goodwill and spend a couple hours, I don't know if I could uh, list that many things. You know, I get tired quickly. Uh, I did make a couple sales on older items, right? Yes, she, she is supposed to come out this week, so hopefully she does. Yeah, she, she is de bound and determined that there must be a way to put her on my my eBay uh, sales, you know, my Rockford Trading Company. She doesn't understand why she I can't just make her part of it. Well, you can't do that. I found out from several people, and she just doesn't understand that you can't just hand, you just can't share your business with somebody because... Like, she couldn't take over. She can share it. I mean, she can do things on there for me. You know, she can write drafts and things. But she can't. I couldn't, like, sell it to her or I couldn't turn it over to her because then she would have all my... Uh, she would have all my feedback, and you can't do that. So, I, Rockford... Uh, not Rockford... <laughs> Rockstar Flipper said there's no there's no way it would be better that she starts her own store now and then you know slowly th then I could slowly uh, she could buy things off me well she wouldn't buy things I could turn things over to her uh, but she'd have to list them on her own in her own store so she doesn't quite understand that but I'm afraid that's how it is. <laughs> My sister, that's okay as long as the only thing you get done is cleaning out your purse. <laughs> yeah, I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> My mother used to clean out her purse a lot. <laughs> 
I'm not sure if you saw a comment about your next box. Yes, I saw it was, you mailed the box. You got my check and you mailed the box. So I should get it by Wednesday. Yes. I know. I can give, I would give her some bins and she could put them on her store. I think she just doesn't want to do it on her own. But I think after she learns to list and have her own store, uh, she'll be more apt to do it. It's hard just to get going, to start things, you know, but. So, she could start on not the not these first bags from Catherine's, but she could start. I think this lady's going to give her a lot more things from her house, so she could start on those things. Uh, I don't think she quite knows how to do the drafting thing. I may have to actually go to her house and show her on her computer how to do it. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I told her to bring her laptop to my house when she comes, and maybe we can. I can show her that way. I don't know. This is all new, having a helper that does drafts for me. But the problem with her doing drafts at her house is she can put them on, and I can then look at them. I can't list I can't list them until they're here. You know, until she brings the articles of clothing out here so that they're in my bins in case they sell. You know, I can't list them. I can't make them active. She could start on the things she boxed up and put in her garage. Uh, she has she has things of her own that she could list. That's what I told her. She ought to start her store right now and start putting little things on and start getting feedback of her own. She has to do that. Yeah, she'd have to work at my house in order to, uh, so the things would be here. So we'll see. This week when she comes... Um, she will uh, will try to get some things done. The girl that is cleaning my house is, I told you she's coming every other week she's going to clean and then every other week she's going to do miscellaneous things. So Thursday when she came, this past Thursday, we cleaned out my whole china closet cabinet. That whole big china cabinet with all my good dishes. We took every dish out. We washed every dish. She washed the china cabinet inside. It was so dusty. I don't understand how that much dust gets in there. Isn't that why you have a china cabinet? To keep your dishes from getting dusty? <laughs> I don't know. but uh, So that's all sparkly clean now. And no breakage. <laughs> uh, so I think this next week she come. This Thursday she'll come and clean, and then the following week I think we're going to do the kitchen, mostly clearing off uh, countertops and oiling my soapstone countertops and putting new light bulbs in my under counter lights that I can't get get to. But she'll be able to do that to make sure I have light bulbs. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes with my daughter. Uh, it'll be interesting. I do think once she gets started, if she would just get started and sell a couple things, I think that'll put, you know, that always urges you on. I know it does me. <clears throat>
Yeah, the dust thing. I don't understand that. <laughs> Why it doesn't keep the dust off. So that is what I sold this past week. And uh, I think tomorrow is the only day I have. Either, t yeah, tomorrow is the only day I have. Unless I wait till Friday to go shopping, but then I'm going to run out of things because I won't get your box till Wednesday, Bumblebee. I have to have things to list. I do have a couple things of Judy's left, and but they're men's suit coats, exactly what I'm trying to get rid of. But I may have to uh, put them on so I have something to list. I think there's three of them, three sport coats, and then there's two really old ones, linen ones, but they're not in great shape. They're very, they're definitely vintage. So, and I always have that fake mink coat. <laughs> I don't know. Oh yeah, I do have horse videos. Uh, yes, I do have a big box of those. I can always fill in with those. You're right. Uh, yeah, there's things around here, I'm sure. So I'm going to close for now and uh, try to get these plush things, these little animals, listed. And I will let you know how the uh, Patreon thing uh, works out. Who knows? Maybe someday you'll see me on the Zoom. <laughs> I guarantee I'll probably be the oldest one he has on there. I don't think he knows how old I am yet. You saw some mink coats by that brand. By Se It was Sears, wasn't it? It wasn't a real mink. It was fake. But it was a good fake. But it's it's not in wonderful shape. I'm sure it wasn't kept in the condition it's supposed to be kept. Definitely worth listing. Yeah, yes, that would be a real it it weighs a ton, I'll tell you that. It would cost a lot. Whoever would buy it, I don't know how I'd ship it. It's going to cost a lot to find a box for it to go in and to ship it. But they, they pay for shipping, so we'll see. So I will be back here on Wednesday for sure, if not before. And uh, thanks for joining me. Bye, Sue. <laughs> uh Wear appropriate with age. Yes, I saw that on somebody's. Okay, I will um, be back this week sometime. Bye. <laughs>